al ki. Now, if you remember, Alcohol. we said that hydration involves the addition of water. Dehydration involves the removal of water. So if I have ethanol, and I usually add some concentrated sulfuric acid to it, and I eat the mixture, and it forms the alkene plus water. So alcohols can be dehydrated to form the alkene. If we start off with ethanol, we finish up with ethene. So those are the only reactions that we're going to do dealing with alcohol. You know, to be able to distinguish between primary, secondary, and tertiary. You know to name them. You know the different oxidation products we get when we oxidize the three types. They form esters when treated with organic acids, and they can be dehydrated to form an alkene. general formula R O R where R can be an alkyl group or it can be a benzene ring. It's an oxygen sandwich between two R groups. Now how do we name them? The simplest one is when the two R groups have CH3. And we say dimethyl ether. Dimethyl ether. If we have one that's not symmetrical, <coughs> like this, where one of the R group is CH3 and one is ether. We say ether, ether, ether. <laughs> and kindly note, we will be with E before me. <laughs> this one, which used to be used in hospitals many years ago, if I brought a bottle of this and open it and put it at the corner of the room, somebody will be more fast asleep than you are now. It's called diether ether. Many years ago, when you undergo an operation, they used to get a cotton wool. They would saturate it with this stuff, and they put it over your nose and you smell it. It will not only put you to sleep, but it depresses the C fiber of the central nervous system, which is associated with pain. So once you go off to sleep, you're not going to feel any pain. It stopped being used for two reasons. Now, one, when you wake up, you have a hell of a headache. And two, it catches a fire very easily. So it cannot be used. If we add this one, <coughs> where the R groups are different again. We 
of an Ethel decide and a profile decide, we say Ethel profile Ethel. So all you have to do with ethers to identify them. The easiest group that you'll come across is organic chemistry. I think you need a break this morning. Oh, yeah.